Well, we see Things X and Things Browser transforming the way our service technicians will ultimately interact with our products, like this micro uh, data center. So, a micro data center like this one is used when a fair bit of computing power is required on the edge. For instance, in a bank branch, a retail store, or an oil refinery, for instance. At Schneider Electric, we already use a breadth of PTC solution for the design and development uh, and servicing of our products. Uh, most recently, of course, we started connecting our products, such as this micro data center, uh, to our backend system, leveraging PTC's ThingsWorks. In fact, you can see now on the dashboard here, we're tracking the performance of these products, which are reporting a number of characteristics, such as location, temperature, battery status, and its useful remaining life, among other things. In this example, our field service technician can also see information in the dashboard from our other enterprise systems. So data about the product's configuration from our windshield PLM system, data from ServiceMax about the customer service entitlement and warranty status, and data from Salesforce.com when, when it relates to upsell and cross-sell opportunities. So while the dashboard view is valuable, at Schneider we know that our field service technician can be even more productive by seeing all this information in the context of the actual product they are servicing. So I think, Mike, you're going to be my field service technician I today. I will be your technician. Right? So, so with the ThingsWorks platform, you can immediately see information about this particular uh, UPS right here in Boston. For instance, you can see the battery level and the machine temperature uh, driven by data that is trimmed off by the machine. You will also notice the status uh, um, indicator, the little I, which is orange, indicating that there is some maintenance required. In fact, when Mike selects on the information button, we're notified that the battery needs to be replaced. So he will choose to perform that task now and the instructions are clearly presented without, no, without any ambiguity. He can see that first he needs to remove a faceplate, then a couple of screws, then the support brackets, and then the battery itself. All of this will enable uh, the technician to execute the procedure quickly and without any mistakes. Hervé, that's a, that's a great example of using Thing Browser and augmented reality to extend the power of the ThingWorks IoT platform. Sure. Now, what kind of an impact will this technology have on your business, and, and where do you see it going in the future? Sure, well, the ThingsWorks platform and the PTC solution that power ThingsX will allow Schneider ultimately to connect the dots, or, as we like to say, uh, to create a closed loop between front-end and back-end systems so that we can drive business values for our customers. For example, um, we can close the loop to offer digitally enabled services to our customers or to identify upsell or cross-sell opportunities to deliver more value. We can also close the loop with engineering and incorporate feedback from the field directly into our engineering process on the CAD and PLM systems so that we develop you know, more innovative and better quality products. And finally, what we just saw, we can have a closed loop with our field service technician so that they are better informed about the status of our products, issues, diagnosis before they arrive on site so that they are more efficient and effective in servicing our customers. So that's just one of the many ways uh, uh, of how we are digitizing our business ecosystem. Uh, AR is a great technology for us to bring the world of IT and OT closer together. As we like to say, our connected technologies ensure life is on for everyone, everywhere, and at every moment. Great. Well, thank you very much for being thank here. We much. really appreciate Thanks. it. Great example.